it's 2k with the pep boy welcome back good to see you you know i'm always here just trying to make the game better in some way so let's get to it uh today we're gonna fix something that i hate and you know if you're like me and you're a fan of realism and you know just the game being fun and interesting then you probably hate it too right so what it is the problem we're dealing with it's the overly excessive player movement right it's just too much the, the the league should not become so jumbled so fast it doesn't take long that's not the way it should be okay what what we should have is a realistic a healthy amount of player movement right so we're getting you know fun roster changes we're keeping it interesting the rosters are staying fresh year after year but at the same time, it's not getting ridiculous like it currently does on default. You know, we can we can do that. We can have balance, and that's what we're going to do. That's what we'll have by the end of this video. Let's get right into it. So step number one, what, what do we need to do? Well, first, of course, we got to figure out why this is happening. All right, that's question number one. And the answer to that, and this, I can tell you 100%, this is much more of a free agency problem than a trade problem. Okay, and matter of fact, on default, there's actually not enough trades happening uh, between the CPU teams when you compare it to real life. So that's definitely not it. So um, what we need to do, th this was the first slider I tested with this problem. It's the trade frequency slider between the CPU teams. So even though this thing isn't really the problem, we still want to adjust it just to make this whole category of, of player movement realistic as it can be. So um, we want to put it at 52. So just a little bit, not too much, but that'll give us the most realistic balance. It's not going to contribute to this over jumbling problem, but it'll give us a you know, a few more trades per season, make it more realistic. Um, and that goes, by the way, this is going to go for current and next gen. Um, I did the same amount of testing on both and got pretty much the same result so that's good that'll be good balance help us get this whole category realistic but like i said the root of this problem that's gonna lie on the contract side of things okay so let's get to that and it's literally just uh, it doesn't have anything to do with like the structure of your league like the salary cap or the inflation rate things like that I was really happy to find that the answer is actually really simple. It's just literally a matter of the CPU teams just not trying hard enough, basically, to, to keep their good players. That's pretty much the only thing operating here. And I went through and tested a lot more complex things, you know, all the different contract sliders and stuff, and just nothing else really affected this, which is a good thing, simple problem, simple solution. Um, simple cause they, they, they were just too willing to just watch their main guys walk out the door whereas you know we know it's pretty much the exact opposite in real life right that's not what most teams do and we don't want them to do it in the game so here's the other slider I tested and this one did the trick um, it's the CPU re-signing aggressiveness slider it's under the difficulty category here and this is the one right here, guys. This slider makes a huge difference. It was so clear in my testing. Uh, once I got it to the right level, and just over and over again, just the right amount of movement. Um, and that's with it set at 75. All right, so you're getting those CPU teams to be more aggressive and trying to keep their guys. It, it really just kind of, you know, just makes them like realize what they have in their players. It seems like they don't realize what they, what they really have. But now they, they actually like value their assets the appropriate amount. They actually like put in the appropriate amount of effort to keep them now. Just like it, you know, teams would in real life. And just the way the other slider was, this has also been tested on next gen as well. So it's good for current and next gen. Tested on both the same amount, got very similar results. All right. I mean, you know, sometimes it's just not any more complicated than that. And we don't need to go make a bunch of unnecessary adjustments just to feel like we did something more complicated. We just got the freaking job done, simple, easy, and it works, and it makes a big difference. Now, you know, with that being said, 
I'm just about done testing all the other contract sliders because there's a ton of other benefits to getting all those other ones right, of course. So now we can move on to all that in the next video, which we will do. I just had to get this done first because you know, it was bugging the hell out of me. But now that we got this, good. We can move on to the rest of the contract sliders and then we're going to do the uh, rest of the trade sliders also in the video after that. Everything's coming out nice. Get ready. It's all coming very soon. So you want to subscribe, get your notifications on if you haven't done so yet. Stay up to date. Uh, pop that like button too if you enjoyed this video, if you found it to be useful for you. Alright y'all, it's been fun. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you stopping by. I'm going to go get back to it. Uh, but give me in the comments in the meantime if you need anything as always. And I'll see you right back here next time on 2K with the Pap Boy.